a particle attached to the free end of a spring of constant k1 k1 means spring constant or force constant execute oscillation with a time period t1 while the time period is t2 when it is attached to a spring of constant k2 if the two springs are joined in series what is the time period of oscillation first let us write the time period of oscillation for a spring 2 pi root of m by k where m is the mass and k is the force constant so t1 will be 2 pi root of m by k1 t2 will be 2 pi root of m by k2 and t equal to 2 pi root of m by k effective when they are joined in series the effective spring constant is k effective when the springs are joined in series 1 by k effective equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 now square 1 and 2 you and add so t1 square plus t2 square equal to 4 pi square m 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 what is t square t square is 4 pi square m into 1 by k effective from 4 we know 1 by k effective is equal to 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 therefore t squared is equal to 4 pi squared m 1 by k1 plus 1 by k2 comparing 7 and 5 we see that t squared is equal to t1 squared plus t2 squared answer number 4